Good morning, everyone. It is Michael Carlin, president of InterOcean Capital and part of your advisory team to the Colorado River Indian Tribes 401k plan. Today, we've got another exciting installment uh, in the education series that is designed to help give you more tools, more understanding about how the 401k plan works, how to use it, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, and just make sure we continually help you stay engaged with your retirement plan account and get the most use out of it. So today, we're going to talk about dollar cost averaging, how it works. You may have heard the term before, and I want to make sure that I am connecting the dots for you and going through and making sure I explain a little bit about how it works and give you another investment idea to, uh, to add to your uh, repertoire. So with that, uh, the dollar cost averaging sensation, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about it. But basically, what, what it is, is that uh, anytime you're investing regularly, uh, consistently, it can be referred to as dollar cost averaging. And the 401k plan is the place where that, that happens most normally because you get paid regularly uh, and then you defer some of your payroll into your retirement plan, or I should say you can defer some of your payroll into your retirement plan every single pay period. If you're not doing it, you can contact us in our numbers at the end or your HR representative to find out a little bit more about how that works. But the thesis behind dollar cost averaging is that every single pay period you're putting money and contributing into the plan. And, and the, the thing that helps you is that you're not taking the stock market's current, uh, you know, uh, uh, whether it's great or bad or good or different or scary or not into consideration. You're just consistently, you're saving the same dollar amount period after period after period. You know, you just kind of keep your head down, market goes up, market goes down, whatever it is, you just continue to roll. And, and you're not trying to time the market. And the question is, does it, does it work? Like that, does it work? Does doing and saving that way work? Is it effective? We'll talk a little bit about that specifically because essentially what, where you can get into trouble is you just say, I'm, I'm just gonna just, just do a whole lump sum. And you know, I like the way the market's behaving right now. Things look really great. I'm gonna go ahead and put money in. Uh, rarely is it that the market's a disaster, the market's going down, and you say, I'm going to go ahead and put money in right now. And unfortunately, uh, if you were able to time both of those things and put that lump sum in, you'd rather do it when the market's low and things are really disconnected rather than when the market's high. But in fact, we end up seeing that most people feel most comfortable to put money into their accounts in a lump sum when the market's high, which is exactly the wrong time to do it. So this dollar cost averaging is great for short-term investors or long-term investors because you're not taking some of those swings into consideration. You're consistently putting money in. Again, I mentioned the 401k is a beautiful way to do it. It's also just a good time to reflect on you can when you're making your contributions into the plan, you can do so with like what we call it in a traditional sense, which is uh, making those contributions and getting a tax deduction today. Or you can do it in a Roth IRA sense where you're not getting those tax deductions today, but you'll never pay tax again on the money that you're putting into the plan. If you've got questions on that, you can send us an email or you can reach out to your HR representative. But ultimately, the value with dollar cost averaging is just this is bottom point. So take that emotion out of investing. You're not worried about the market up, market down. You're just head down and going forward. Um, so what it looks like is, is, you know, again, you're looking at what you're buying and this could be a mutual fund or any investment in the market. And let's say you're doing $50 contributions here measured in this column. You know, sometimes the market goes up and the prices go up and sometimes the prices go down. This is kind of typical of where the way the market works. Is it something, you know, you wouldn't be surprised if it started at $10 and then eventually goes to 11 and a quarter. But so the price is going up, but does that mean it goes up in a straight line? No, there's some variability there. And by consistently investing in something that has variable price movement, you're buying different shares. Sometimes you're buying more shares. Sometimes you're buying less. It just depends upon if the price is going up or down. And, and, and the value is, is that in doing it this way, if you were to have done it this way, yeah, you know, you're, you, you've made... Um, You've made $36.79 by saving $50 in this fashion per pay period, which is wonderful. Um, and it just shows that like, you know, with the variability and you know, a dollar cost averaging works, the question is, does it work every time? And this is where I'm going to let you in, in a little, little secret. And I don't care what kind of period of time we use, but 
see the, 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 the this chart what it does a really nice job is that in green it shows you when you want to be making these big lump sum investments and and if you had made a big lump sum investment and by the way this goes back to the 1950s all the way to through to, to 2016 there's times when you would have made a really good rate of return by making a lump sum investment at the right time and then um, you know, there's a time where if you made that big lump sum investment, it was the exact wrong thing to do. So it, it's interesting in that um, when you're looking at whether or not, you know, dollar cost averaging makes sense, does it make sense in every market? The answer is no. When does dollar cost averaging not make sense is when the market's down a lot. When the market's down a lot, that's when I want you to get aggressive and make those bigger lump sum investments. If it's possible, you say, I saw this video once where our retirement plan advisor told me that when the market's down, I'm supposed to go ahead and invest. And that's what I'd love for you to do. But if you're not going to do that, a wonderful strategy that works on a, on a consistent basis is, is that dollar cost averaging. The consistent putting your money to work uh, over time will end up giving you a place where you don't have the emotion and you're making things, uh, uh, making your account value grow long term. So in conclusion, the two big points, the advantage is by investing in smaller amounts, you're going to be buying when things are low. You're going to be buying when things are high. If you do it a consistent dollar amount, you'll be buying less when the market's high, and you'll be buying more when the market's low. And that those are those are exactly the kind of things I'd like for you to be able to do. And and it smooths out the purchase price because again, you're buying it all over, and and it's powerful. It's powerful, especially over a long period of time. So. Remember to enroll in your retirement plan if you already haven't done so. I know that there's a number of you, hundreds and hundreds of you that are enrolled and contributing your own money into the retirement plan. Uh, if you're not, I encourage you to go ahead and do so. If you are, maybe you want to do more. It just is, a, it's a moment to reflect. Um, remember that the tribe puts in 5% uh, contribution for each of you on an annual basis. We would love to see, as a perfect rule of thumb, everyone saving 10% of your pay. If the tribe's doing five and you're contributing five from your own paycheck, that's a great way to save 10% of your income on an annual basis, which is wonderful over a long period of time. And now you know that doing it via dollar cost averaging is a way that's going to help you uh, uh, generate great returns long term. So with that, uh, you can always get a hold of us. Uh, Jason Kennedy is our director of retirement plans. You can get a hold of him. Here's our number at the 480 483-3489 or hit us up at the retirement and iofinance.com or you can find us online. We're everywhere. We're here to help. And uh, we would love to find out what we can do to help support you and to support your uh, long-term retirement plan needs. Uh, that's what I got for you in this session. I hope you learned a lot about dollar cost averaging. I can't wait to see you again soon. Take care and have a wonderful day.